Hey, how's it going, everybody? So, I just watched the uh, Netflix Godzilla 3, where they had Ghidorah, King Ghidorah, make an appearance, and so I just thought I'd talk a little bit about that, just because uh, it's an interesting, but not my favorite, rendition of, of the three-headed monster concept. So, there are some spoilers, so if you haven't seen it or don't want anything spoiled, you may not want to watch this, but... Otherwise, you know, I'm not going to get into every single aspect of, of the movie, just to talk about some of the aspects of, of Ghidorah. So it was interesting that instead of having the typical, you know, three-headed monster that's like one thing, this is like the traditional, you know, King Ghidorah style. This is a, a G03 figure here. And, um, you know, let's see here. So it's, it's all in the <laughs> Japanese for this uh, Bandai figure. This is made in uh, 1998. This this kind of encapsulates here the traditional look of King Ghidorah, or as they say, sometimes the Japanese Ghidorah. Uh, but, you know, they, they didn't do it like this for this film. They had this kind of like astral cosmic deity form where three heads that were like really long snakes come out of these portals, you know, come out and attack Godzilla and latch on to him and kind of suck a lot of the energy out of him and, and reduce his uh, internal, you know, thermal condition, you know, cool Godzilla down. So, I mean, it was, it was an interesting kind of new twist on it, but I don't know. I don't think it, like, really captured the essence of the original uh, King Ghidorah look and feel and, and, like, the epic battle part. And a lot of that, I think, too, you know, is lost in how they did the battle scene because... Godzilla's scene is very like slow moving and everything's kind of just you know taking so long to have any action uh, and that kind of leaves the viewer like wanting more because you know just having Godzilla latch on to and slowly moving is not very thrilling but it is interesting to see like the the serpents uh, you know attack Godzilla and kind of flip through space but hopefully with the new movie that is coming out in theaters they'll do uh, King Ghidorah right and make that look good uh, because I think uh, when you have the physical form, this is the uh, the Mecha King Ghidorah. Uh, when you have the physical form, I think there's just a lot more opportunity for excitement in battles. Because with the King Ghidorah in the in the Godzilla three on Netflix, you know Godzilla couldn't really touch the creature when uh, the uh, priest guy like had the eyepiece. And it kind of was like, okay, well, that's an interesting twist, but it doesn't leave much room for action excitement. It's just kind of like suspense, like wondering what's going to happen. And then when Godzilla finally could actually attack the monster, it was over pretty quick. There wasn't like a drawn out battle. So in some respects, you know, it was an interesting twist, but I don't think they executed it right. And, you know, it doesn't give you that very epic battle scene you expect with these kind of... Uh, you know, big creatures that, you, you know, the, the whole reason for watching them is to watch these, like, big battle scenes with lots of destruction and, uh, you know, lots of uh, tackling each other and fighting and hitting and stuff. So, I mean, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just thinking through what could have been done differently or better on that. And I think just maybe having had, maybe they could have had the astral form or something like that and then actually have it manifest in a physical form so they could have a real battle. Maybe that would have been a, a good twist after that fact like after being controlled with the eyepiece and they come together but yeah i mean you know i think king Ghidorah is, is a pretty cool character i like the gold and the and the scales and you know the three heads and stuff you know it's like a hydra thing so i always thought that it was a, a great character design so you know i was a little disappointed in that they broke it up uh, into you know three distinct like serpentine things uh but you know, I am excited and hopeful that the new movie that is coming out uh, will do justice to Godzilla because, uh, and King Ghidorah, of course, uh, because it looks like they're actually going to have physical forms um, and the uh, the monster verse, uh, you know, that's coming out here uh, with Ghidorah. And I think uh, Rodan's going to be there and Mothra and stuff. I think they're going to do Godzilla a little bit more justice in this new film coming out, hopefully. So I just uh, wanted to share that with you and, you know, show off some of these really cool old uh, Godzilla uh, universe figures here with uh, King Ghidorah. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's definitely a cool design. I'm definitely inspired by it um, in my own design for uh, my own comic universe. So I definitely love Keiju and 
the idea of having big monsters at epic proportions for, for battles and stuff. So I uh, hope you found that interesting, and I will talk to y'all very soon, especially as I cover some more of my uh, Godzilla collection uh, back there leading up to the new Godzilla film. All right, take care, everybody.